Welcome to the world of code and here is how you get into it and become a master. Step number one, get a text editor slash IDE and IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and this is where you're going to be writing all of your code. In terms of IDEs for beginners, I'd recommend VS Code, Notepad++ and if you don't want to install anything, then use REPL.IT which is an online IDE that you can use for free. Step number two, pick a programming language. To be honest, the programming language you pick doesn't matter and I'll explain why in the next step. But a programming language is simply a way we can give instructions to the computer. A few examples are Python, JavaScript, C++ and Java. Each programming language has its own unique syntax and use cases. But what matters the most right now is that you pick a language and get good at it. Since you guys are new to coding, I'd recommend Python or JavaScript since they are very beginner friendly. If you want to learn these languages for free, then I'd recommend using either Free Code Camp or W3 Schools, or you can just go on YouTube. Step number three, learn the fundamentals. This is why I said that the programming language you pick doesn't matter because no matter what language you pick, you will learn the fundamentals. Thus, if you learn one language, then learning another will come easier. The fundamentals are things like outputting text on a screen, variables, data types, conditional statements, etc. Okay, you may not have understood what I just said, but don't worry, I'll teach you. All right, so right here, we have print hello world and we have hello world in two double quotations. So let's see what happens if we run it. As you can see, it prints out hello world and that's actually the first fundamental is printing text on the screen. You want to learn this in every programming language. Next up is variables. So as you can see, we have a variable called name equal to John. So a variable is basically a way you store data. Pretty simple. So if you run it right now, it's going to print out John because John is stored in this name variable right here. Most programming languages have a built-in input function. This input function allows you to get data from the user. So if we run it right now, it'll ask us what is our name. You can type in John as an example. Enter and then we have John right here. So in programming languages, they have such things called data types. So one of those data types is a string. A string is basically a array of characters like for example hello world or you can just view a string as text in some programming languages for example c plus plus or c they actually have char which is a single character next up is an integer and this is basically a number without a decimal and then you also have a float and this is basically a number but this time with decimals so in programming you have conditional statements or what they call if else if and else statements so for example we have two variables right here x and y in this first statement we want to see if x is more than y and if it is then we're going to print out x is larger and if that isn't true then it's going to run this else if statement to see that if x is equal to y then print x is equal to y that is if x is not larger than y and then if none of these are true then we're going to print out y is larger and that's what the else statement is for so if we run it it's going to print out x is larger because because x is larger than y. Let's say we change it to 12. x is equal to y because x and y are both equal to 12. Let's see what happens if y is larger than x. Then it will print out y is larger. Step four, build projects. At the end of the day, you can watch all the tutorials you want, but if you don't apply the knowledge, then you won't really learn anything. I'd recommend after you learn the basic fundamentals to start building a simple project so that way you can actually apply your knowledge and actually become problem solver. An example could be a simple quiz app, a number guessing game, or even rock, paper, scissors. The choice of project is up to you, but what matters the most is that you apply what you learn and learn by doing. And congratulations, that is your 101 introduction into the world of coding. From here on out, you can learn more advanced concepts, build some big projects, and even choose what type of programming you want to get into, like web development, game development, or even mobile app development. Hopefully all of this was helpful, and thank you for watching.